Okay, for this assignment, you guys are gonna take the denim pant you've been working on and go ahead and give it some colorways. Um, Chloe has updated a little bit, so in order to do that, you're now gonna find the colorway window uh, filed up high um, under display, and down the bottom, it's in window, and they call it avatar, or I'm sorry, colorway editor. So just go ahead and click that. The window should pop open. Okay, so we have the first colorway that I've already been working with. Um, it has our fabric. This one has a graphic art that's on the logo. It has our buttons, button hole, and lots of different um, top stitch colors, top stitches as well. So this one's pretty elaborate. I don't know if yours design has as much uh, details in it as this particular one, um, but I thought this would be a good example anyways. So this is gonna be colorway A, so you're gonna go ahead and hit plus, so it's a little teeny plus sign. And this is gonna be, they call it copy number one, so you could change it to be colorway B if you like. You can actually give it a name as well. And then in here, we can actually, this has the t-shirt too, that's why there's so many details. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and click black. This is our fabric. And um, and you just, you can actually change it right in the property editor. So you wanna make sure your object browser and property editor window are open just so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, click where it says black and change it to whatever other color you were thinking would be good for your little mini collection of three colorways. Um, so now, right now, I don't see it. I see that's right here, but it's not in my image. So in order to actually see it in your image, you need to hit the update button right here. And just give it a second and okay let's see here that obviously did not really work oh I guess that was a I this is so small I can't even see what I actually made red what did I make red I don't even know it says color oopsies I don't know what that was be honest with you so let's go down to fabric <laughs> and I'll pick the denim let's try to make the denim um, red so there's the texture um, color right now it has none I'm gonna go ahead and add that red say apply done okay now it's kind of red but it's mixed with the little um, denim texture image they have two um, so it's not gonna be quite as bright as that red I'm gonna go ahead and say update just give it a second okay Definitely having trouble seeing that for some reason. Let's try just the shirt, see if we can see that a little bit better. It went crazy for green. Okay, there we go, you can see that. So I'm not exactly sure. It could just be because of the texture, um, it's just keeping it dark. So I might wanna play around with that. But anyways, we can go in, we can change um, You know the buttons you know, maybe let's see what we have right now. It says it's white, but maybe you change it to like a silver color, possibly um, all that stuff. So you can have a different full blown colorway. OK, um, yeah, uh, let's see. I'm going to click Save Image. OK, so when you're done, um, Chloe makes it a little hard to have a tech pack right now. You have to have an account in there. Um, closet and it's not free for whatever reason to uh, make tech packs so um, so instead what you can do you can hit save image and choose colorway editor and say okay and then we'll use that as our little uh, tech pack page of um, colorways so I'm gonna go ahead and name it color ways remember where you're saving it and then this is what you'll turn in for the assignment so after you create your three colorways um, save that. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. It's really long because I have so many. So you'll have three, but this is what we will turn in. And this is basically like, it's kind of like a bill of material, you know, of your different colorways that you could put as a page in your tech pack. All right. So if you guys have questions, reach out and let me know.